both very dangerous ideas. And how to get this kind of the right balance, it's a lifetime of work. And this is to be supplemented with traditional forms of prayer. The siddur, it's not one or the other. It's not this or let's say study. This this would seem like after I, I'm saying this, I said like, why do I need to study Kabbalistic texts? I will tell you why. The more Kabbalistic texts you read and study, the better this dialogue will become. That's just the way it is. Why I don't know, because, because God thinks with the words that we read and speak. Because once there is language, there is language. Yes, maybe ultimately the goal is to get beyond language and to feel that oneness. But getting there constantly needs words. Constantly needs study and reading. So it's actually, in my opinion, the more time I am dedicating to studying texts, including a, a mystical text, the better and more intense this type of experience will tend to be. So even though it's counterintuitive, I would think, oh, I, all this time reading is going to not give me any time to meditate. It's actually on the contrary. When you get in the zone, you get there. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there and um, <coughs> suggest that this is something that's which means it's something that everybody can do, obviously depending on what you know and what you feel and the levels of what you're dealing with in your life, there will be differences. So I just wanted to um, put, put out something that's practical, that's accessible, and that is compatible with kind of the more specific type of intricate information that Kabbalah is full of, which hopefully you'll be hearing a lot more about today. Uh, just to, to quickly run through the schedule, this, uh, the next session is a breakout session. I'm going to be teaching uh, on rereading the Ari, uh, providing a little bit of a, a text and commentary of how to reread the Ari according to Rabbi Yachim of Breslov and other Hasidic and psychological perspectives on, on the Ari. Uh, Rabbi Shlom and Olivia Schwartz will be teaching as well, and so that's my session is in 204, the Schwartz session is in 206. 130 we break for lunch. 215, Rabbi Ariel Barzadok, um, Prophetic Kabbalah room 204, Rabbi Yonah Muxi and Kabbalah and Dating.